Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to make a moving platform using an infinite loop. You can also determine the duration of time you want using timers. So to start we need an actor blueprint and a platform. I will name it moving platform. I will make my own platform from a cube. You can also add your own if you have one. Double click to open the blueprint. Drag and drop your platform into the blueprint. I will resize the cube to make my platform. Now go to the event graph to create the logic. Use this node if you want your platform to start moving when you start the game. Drag and add a timeline. Double click to open the timeline. Add a vector to move the platform in a specific direction. Our movement will be around the Y axis for this example. So I will look the other two axes. As you can see from here, I want it to slide to the left. So that's in the minus Y direction. Hold shift and lift click to add a keyframe. Set it to zero, zero. Add another keyframe and set how long and how far you want the platform to move. I will set the time to 2 seconds and the value to minus 1000. Add set relative location and make sure it has the platform as its target. Connect the vector we made to the new position bin. With these connections, the platform will move only once when the game starts. But we need it to keep moving back and forth. So we need to create a loop. Mine is a custom loop and will run as long as the game is running. Add a branch here to start the loop. I will use a custom condition and name it as loop. and we'll keep the default value as true. So now when the game runs, the platform moves and the condition is true. So we need to connect the true output to reverse the animation and the false to play the animation again. We also need to set the condition to true or false at each iteration. So when the condition is true, set it to false and reverse the animation. And when it's false, set it to true and play the animation again. So now when the game starts, play the animation, the condition is now true, set it to false and reverse the animation. Now the condition is false, set it to true and play the animation again and so on and so forth. We also need to add a delay between iterations, otherwise the loop wouldn't work correctly because both conditions will be applied at the same time which will make the platform stutter in its place. The animation takes 2 seconds to play as we set in the timeline, so I will set the delay to 3 seconds to give it a 1 second breather. And this is it for the logic, so let's go test it in the game. As you can see, it goes to the left, waits 1 second, goes back to the right and waits another second and keeps looping until you exit the game. You can set time boundaries to your loop if you don't want it to be always moving. This is it for this video, thanks for watching.